I don't know who needs to hear this, but you do not need a podcast. Yo, what's happening? I'm your host, Ben Price, back with another episode of SOS, where we talk drips and flips and what dropped and flopped, but please don't get it twisted, I'm not a hype beast. Got a special guest with us today on the show, my brother, Late Night Lenny. Yo, 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 what's poppin'? Definitely value Late Night Lenny's opinion on fashion. He knows just as well as I do that the drip never takes a back seat. Never. So yeah, let's get straight into it, man. Let's talk about these fucking raw toes that y'all behave so badly about. The ones never had this much hype. Even the Chicago's, they never had this much hype until ESPN puts out a documentary, The Last Dance. What you think? Uh, I think one's been popping. You know, sometimes the streets get stuff late. We shouldn't have to be out here paying $280 just for some ones. I mean, that's ridiculous. We just got to do better. And the way we can do better is, I think it's May 30th, Jordan's releasing some new ones, the Mocha ones. And Late Night Lenny told me not to plug them or say anything about them. But they're fire, and I got to let the people know that's my job. You know, the Donna Drip. That's why I passed on the Royal Toes to begin with. Some more ones is coming out. I don't think they're coming out this year, but I did just see some mock-ups of them. It's the University Blue ones. They get a fire. And the Vault and University Gold ones But this isn't a sneaker episode So let's move on I just wanted to kind of address the fucking bullshit About the Royal Toes I mean it's ridiculous Yeah so what I wanted to get into was uh, The repurposed designers My two favorites The first one is Sharon Barber I've been following Sharon for a while He's out on the west coast I like Sharon's style He'll ask for feedback He'll ask for opinions He'll ask for suggestions on new items And he responds and engages with his supporters I really appreciate that in the fashion world You don't see that a lot But yeah he's one of my favorites i think my favorite piece by sharon would probably have to be the etai collab and that brings me into my second favorite repurposing designer etai uh, he's on the west coast too i wasn't too familiar with etai i knew about him a little bit but i wasn't following him or anything and then my cousin she reached out to me sent me some of his shit not gonna plug her because you motherfuckers are weirdos she's got great taste appreciate that cuz yeah so my favorite etai piece is probably the lv rolling chair i mean you can't get i mean he does the same thing. He repurposes. Definitely go follow Etai and uh, Sharon Barber on um, Instagram. You familiar with any of them? Yeah. Late Night, late yeah. night Lenny? Yeah. I know Barber, he had the chest rigs early. Yeah, early, yeah. early. Yeah, I was on them a little bit out of my budget, but them bitches was hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is, you know, Sharon Barber and Etai, this is where we marry kind of the street fashion and luxury. Both of them are fire. Next up, of course, I, I mean, I talk about them every episode. I'm sure y'all are tired of it, but they just don't fucking miss. It's Palace Skateboards. It's, it's insane how hot the collections are. Best collection thus far that I've seen, especially the Yeehaw shirt, the Yeehaw button-down shirt with the floral on the collar, the Earth tee. All this shit is fire, man. The accessories, the socks, be on the lookout for them. I think they're dropping Friday again. Remember, if you want to try Ferg, you got to get there early. You got to buy a bot. You got to buy a proxy. It's really aggravating that we've come to that. And speaking of that, I think what's really cool is Warren Lotus's new collection. It's the NBA Part 3, Fear the Deer, maybe. He put something on his Instagram story that said he is actually being proactive in fighting the bots for this release. People who are buying your shit quick like that, are gonna resell it for you know an insanely inflated price if you're releasing this shit on your website for 99 dollars and it's a t-shirt and then i gotta go to grail to get it for 289 dollars bro i'm probably just gonna set sale on that brand but i do like the fact that warren lotus is fighting the bots and i do like his collection he's coming out with the nba i I told y'all before on one of the episodes i love his take on the nba shit definitely fuck with that i want to pause the show for a second and shout out poor man stew podcast coming soon late night lenny will be heading that that is gonna be his show it's pretty exciting um come join me in the mix yeah what uh what you gonna be talking about it's just a bunch of just we're going to be discussing a little bit of everything. Broad range shit. Mixing the pot, stirring nice. the pot. Nice. Definitely check out Poor Man Stew coming soon. That's right. You got a timeline on when it's coming? Um, It's in production right now. Yeah, so you heard it here first. Check in with Poor Man Stew coming soon. Next up is the Supreme Bike. That already released. I think it released last week. Supreme has just been missing for two years now. They came out with that BMX bike and they were charging 18 for it. I'm... Not gonna lose sleep over not having that piece at all. 
You know what I mean? Well, like the old, wasn't it old school bike or something? Yeah, it was like the uh, 1995 BMX dirt bike. I'm, I'm straight on all that. Like, you're going to pay 18 for that bike and then go put it in some dirt or you're going to put it up on the wall. Either way, yeah, you, look, you that's hype beast behavior. You know what I mean? If I'm in New York, I'm probably going to use that if I'm gonna spend eighteen hundred dollars on a bike, I'm definitely gonna get one that's better than the nineteen ninety five BMX <laughs> dirt bike with Supreme on it. It's just sad to see that Supreme, which was a streetwear titan at one point, just come up short the past couple years. Supreme, ever since they sold the company, they've just been missing. It's just been a bunch of fucking bricks. They've had a couple good pieces, but nothing enough for me to be like, this collection is fucking crazy. So Supreme. Let's go. I don't know if y'all got James on the team still or what, but... What, uh, what's the piece you wearing currently? I'm... Should we even consider this vintage? This is a 2016 Supreme piece, I believe. Okay. I, okay. Suprema? Okay. So if you're... Yeah, I mean, you're straight with that. I mean... Okay. I'm just making sure you're not jumping ship completely. No, I'm not jumping ship, but, uh, you know... Yeah, so the next thing I want to talk about is Wacko Maria. I, I spoke about Wacko Maria and the Jean-Michel Basquiat collection a couple episodes ago, but they are just coming up strong. I really like the Hawaiian shirts, the button downs, the beachy vibe, and that's what I'm talking about, marrying the luxury and the streetwear thing. Um, I think Wacko Maria does a good job of that. Um, sizes only go up to XL, so if you're a big boy, not looking good for you. A new brand I was just introduced to. It's not necessarily new, but it's uh, it's, a, it's a new brand to me. It's a Parisian brand. It's called Three Paradise. Really like what they got going on. I like the bird button down shirt and the pants and all that. So definitely go check them out. I think it's worth it. I've read up on them. I don't have any pieces personally. Looks like good quality. Everything checks out. Acne Studios. Now, if you know me, you know I fuck with Acne Studios heavy. I think the one piece that stands out the most to me is the Motif Mock Neck T-shirt and the face patch shirt. You can't get much better than the uh, collar shirt with a simple logo on the breast. It's just a light, subtle flex. Have you seen any of the, Ash any of the Acne Studio shit? Um, I usually like Acne. I think they keep it pretty simple for me. They don't get too outside the box and too crazy with it. So I always rock with what they got. A bunch of my partners is bigger guys, heavier guys, big boys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we in the South. Motherfuckers play football. Motherfuckers eat good. They watch the show and they immediately hit me up and say, yo, you know, all this shit is fine. I went to the websites to buy it and shit like that. But they don't have a big boy size. So do not worry. I got that taken care of for you. Some streetwear brands that I like and got them XXXs and them 4Xs. Big boy shit. First off is Stone Island. Can't go wrong with Stone Island. Stone Island is a great streetwear brand, especially if you're a big dude, if you wear a bigger size. Their collection this year has been great. Another is Nike ACG. You just gotta catch them quick when they drop. You like that Nike? I don't, I don't know about all the pink and shit they're throwing in there now. What you think about the ACG shit? Um, nah. It's fresh, but I know more the ACG is the boots. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really know they clothes like that. The clothes are fire, and they come in uh, extended sizes. So if you're a big guy, definitely check them out. Also, lose some weight. Yeah, or lose some weight. Um, so that's a good option too. Also, Stussy. Stussy has those extended sizes. I'm not sure they go up crazy, but I think you'll catch a double X, maybe a triple X sometimes. Uh, as far as the pants, probably want to stay away from those. And of course, Old Faithful, Carhartt. If you're a big guy and you're in the streetwear, that should be your go-to, Carhartt. You can't go wrong with it. It's extremely acceptable in the streetwear culture. Now, Carhartt, WIP work in progress. I'm not too sure if they have extended sizes. But regular car hard workwear, that's still acceptable. Workwear is streetwear right now, to be honest with you. Next brand I want to get into is, I'm not going to stay on them long. I like the brand. I, I don't own anything by them, but I do appreciate the fact that Brain Dead is doing more and more lifestyle goods and home goods. I really like when streetwear brands do that. So you can just kind of have some shit in the home that cleanses the streetwear palette. Brain Dead. They have some nice pillows. They got plates, cups, and shit. Really like all that. But the thing that really kind of just triggered me was the coffee table they just released. I think it was two thousand dollars. Let's, I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right. Lastly, I, I wanted to go over, you know, it being that time of the season, and when quarantine is up, my guys, we're gonna need some swim trunks, some acceptable swim trunks, probably the best quality. I would definitely check out Stone Island. Now, if you do go to Stone Island for your swim trunks, you are gonna pay a hefty price for some swim trunks. 
You might want to go with a different brand, such as Carhartt WIP, Work in Progress. Also, Noah, he used to work with Supreme, actually, has his own clothing line, if you're not familiar with Noah. The swim trunks that I really like was the American flag swim trunks. And you know Noah's got the good quality, and he's got good designs. And, and also Stussy, tried and true, proven streetwear brand, and they do have some five swim trunks. Now, if you can't find the swim trunks on their website, check out other websites like Bodega and BSTN. Definitely check those out. Besides streetwear, boy, I hope y'all seen that Tony Ferguson, Justin Gaethje fight. God damn, Tony Ferguson got his ass beat the fuck up. Waiting on college football to start back up. I saw a tweet from somebody that looked like they were a higher up. They're 35% sure they're going to do college football this season. 35%. Yeah, not even halfway. So yeah. not looking good for the college football fans. Go Gators. Go Eagles. Just got to keep praying and staying positive. And shout out to the new supporters of the show. You see this new mic. You know what I mean? You know who you are. I went and looked at the analytics again. Disappointed in what I saw. So if you're watching this, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing. Last week, I had a pretty good segment on women streetwear. If you haven't seen that, go check that out in the previous video. Let's do some giveaways. I guess the, the way to get subscribers and followers and likes and shit like that is a giveaway. Giveaway. Give out some of these pieces. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want. If I got to do a giveaway to get subscribers, let me know what you want me to give away. And we'll make it happen. I'll keep you updated on the show. And of course, I'll keep you updated on the hottest new drip. Until next time, West Side to the Pine, 7 to the Dirt. I appreciate everybody watching. And, and we'll see y'all on the next show. Yeah.